up everybody this is dj now and i'm standing outside right now because everybody in my house is fucking being loud so right now i'm about to record a quick video pretty much showing off uh my bag old swag which i got from uh from dragon con i'm about to say fun comic con i'm kind of tired you can probably see the bags under my eyes i ain't really got no sleep man like uh I had to go to work Saturday in the morning. I worked from 9 to 5. I already said that. Then I did the same thing Sunday. And then right after that, I went to Dragon Con. And then after Dragon Con, I went home. And then I went to sleep. And then uh, I just been going Dragon Con crazy. So I only bought a couple of things at Dragon Con. It was a... Uh, well, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to show you. So uh, let's get the old bag of swag out. And let's start showing some of this stuff. So basically, I bought two t-shirts. The first t-shirt. Uh, 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 get out of here. Get out. Get Hey, shirt. This is the first t-shirt. First t-shirt is of Goku on the front. I'm about to show you as soon as I get it laid out. I should have pre-laid this out, but I'm stupid. So, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Let me get that. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible cameraman and also a terrible planner of videos, but this is the first shirt. Dragon Ball Z shirt. Let me pan around it so it's not upside down. And this is the first shirt. Kind of wrinkly. Kind of whatever. I'll probably iron it because I'm going back from the final day of Dragon Con today. And uh, I'm probably going to be wearing this one. But this is my Dragon Ball Z shirt. Hopefully you guys can see it. All nice. And I don't know, it looked pretty cool. I can't remember what scene this is from. I remember him dashing like this. It was either from, uh, what was it, movie, the Bar not uh, the Bojack movie, when he charged through the dimensions or whatever from, because he was dead. But he went through the dimensions to save Gohan from uh, Bojack, and then he went right back. But it's just a cool-ass pose, so I decided to pick it up. And it just looks really, really good. So that's the first thing. I don't know if y'all can already see inside the bag of swag. Hey, 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 giving away secrets. Anyway, here's the second t-shirt that I got. It's uh, another large shirt. Because I wear largest. Because I'm not I'm not as fat as I used to be. Oh, I ain't take the stick off. Well, whatever. You can still see it. This is my second shirt. It's a bleach shirt. It's just a uh, hollow Ichigo with the mask. And then it has your power will be mine. And it just looked cool when I seen it. So I was like, fuck it. Both of these shirts were $25. Which is outrageous. But... Uh, they were having like a little deal where it's like one shirt $25, two shirts $35. I figured, hell, I'm out here, might as well take the little deal and buy it. So that's the, the second shirt. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Let me pan back a little bit, go down, pan down there, boom. That shit look nice. So I'll probably be wearing that when I go to work or something, just show it off. Be like, bitch, look at my swag. Anyway, here's some of the comic books I bought. I only bought four trades. So this is the first one, which is Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man Beware the Hobgoblin Derail. I don't know what it is. It's just a random story arc. I was just looking through the bin, which I have a video of that I'll be showing in later videos. But I'll just look through the bin, and then I found this. And I like, the art looked pretty cool. He's wearing the Iron Spider suit. I don't know why, but it looks really cool. I don't know if this is happening when uh, Civil War was going on, but look cool. So I was like, fuck it. To get a little preview. Fucking Vulture stealing purses from bitches. So, you know, that's always great. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see this clearly. Let me Let me... So, uh, it looks nice, like uh, you punch the shit out of Rhino. It is, it's a good old time for Spider Man, so it's pretty good. Beware the Hobgoblin and the Anarchy sign. And it's just, I'm, I'm gonna be reading this as I go to work. There's a little back picture. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see that clearly. Can't really tell because I got the front camera on my uh, my phone, and that's what I'm using. I can't switch cameras while I'm doing this. But that's the first book. So, you got Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man Derailed. The next book I got is a series. Well, uh, yeah, a comic book series that I heard about but never got a chance to read, and that's Derailed. I'm not Derailed, but Drafted. What am I talking about? Derailed was the, the Spider-Man thing. Okay, so this is Drafted, uh, and it says, Slated to be a motion picture from New Line Cinema. And there you go. Looks nice. The art looked pretty cool, and uh, the little tagline at the bottom is, One world, one people, one purpose, blast aliens. I don't know, but I heard about the series a while ago, and I think it's like some intergalactic fucking wars going on and since the scope is so huge they have to draft you know whole planets into the war so i think uh earth eventually gets drafted and every person on earth had to become a soldier a soldier so i don't know how many main characters it's got but it involves all of earth and the universe and the galaxy and it's probably going to be at a huge scale and huge scope i haven't really read anything give a little preview of the pages who like here's some people bitching about shit like no never you are all slaves like hell no we ain't slaves bitches it's like all kind of crazy stuff. The art looks pretty cool, though. I like it. Uh, I haven't really read any of it yet because I'm sleepy. I've been, man, you, I'm telling you, the camera and the lighting shows the flaws in my face. Y'all can probably see the damn bags, like, clear as goddamn day, but whatever. I don't care. 
But I am very sleepy and both of my legs are killing me, but it's gonna be fun. What do you get at the grocery store? He's like, I'm buying me some bread and then boom, you're gonna be in the fucking war, bitch. So I don't know. It, it looks pretty cool. And I heard good things about it, so I'm gonna be reading that. Next is a fucking Max comic from Marvel. Cause all these are no well, actually this isn't Marvel, is it? No, this is DDP. I don't know what DDP is, but drafted is DDP. And then this is a Marvel Max comic called Atlas, written by, can y'all see it? I cannot tell if y'all can see it, but Brian Michael Bendis and Michael uh, Gatos. Gat, Gat, say Gatos, I'm saying Gatos. Parental advisory content, so it's going to be, you know, it, that's all Max books, the graphic, you know, violent, nudity, all that good stuff that everybody loves. So, here's Atlas. I heard about this a while ago, never got to read it. This is volume three. So it's already deep into the story, so I kind of fucked up on that one. I just seen it, I was like, oh, this look cool. And uh, Bob Michael Bender, so I was like, whatever. So I bought it. The art looks pretty cool, pretty slick, pretty nice. I really like it. And I'm mad because I picked up this book, right? And I was looking at some of the uh, the events that were happening at Comic-Con. And I seen that Mark Bagley was supposed to be there. And there you go, J. Jonah Jameson, he's in there. I only read the first two pages, so I don't really know what's going on. But it looks like it's around Spider-Man Universe because they have this panel where it's like Spider-Man Menace, Captain America Found, Kree Skull War Ended, all kind of stuff. So, I don't know. This looks promising. I just have to be, like, I'm just going to be in mid-story. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it looks pretty cool. Apparently, it's about uh, Jessica Jones, a superhero who, uh, a superheroine, I guess you would say, who couldn't fully control her powers, and then she quit and became a fucking private investigator and all this kind of craziness and hard boil cop. I think Jessica Jones is Miss Marvel, right? It's either Miss Marvel or Spider-Woman. I think it's Spider-Woman. I can't remember. Sorry, but I think it's Spider-Woman. Correct me if I'm wrong, but whatever. The back got a little cool, like, noir -y, rainy, fucking grainy-ass picture. But it looks it, it looks nice, so I enjoyed it a lot. Well, I'm enjoying the art a lot. I haven't really read any book. And then the last one was a fucking hardback, which is $10. Because each of these uh, soft, I guess, backs, you would say, were 5 And then the hardback that I got, which is Spider-Man with great power, comes, well, you, can, you know the rest. It's got dot, 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 but fuck it, you know the rest. And the art looked pretty cool on the cover. I like it. And apparently this is about the days between uh, Peter getting bit and him learning the greatest lesson he'll ever know. Which is, you know, great power come great responsibility. So it's just showing him being a wild child and being, you know, you know, unruly and thinking about fucking bitches and making money. You know, all that good shit. And uh, then his whole life changes when Uncle Ben dies or something like that. So I heard that this is a really good story. So I'm actually looking forward to reading this. But uh, these are the last couple of books. I'll probably read off a little bit in the back. You're like, being cool is hard. Quote by Peter Parker. <laughs> Responsibility? That is just a concept. Just some moral grandstanding made by old people who have no idea how hard it is to be a kid. Uh, how hard it is to stay cool and get a little respect. And nobody knows more than Peter Parker. This is a life told in the days that followed the fable radioactive spider bite that gave him amazing powers of Spider-Man. Back when he learned the lesson, great power comes dot dot dot. Hot cars, hot women, bucket loads of cash, and ability to tell the world who that picked on him to fuck a dick. Uh, this is a story of Peter Parker before he learns the hardest and cruelest lesson of all. That great power must also come. And they just keep doing dot dot dot. Like everybody in their grandmama's panties know, you know, the saying. But it's just, it's just a great fucking, it's a great concept. And I think more people need to abide by it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, these are the things that I got. I got the books, the comics, you know, ladies all out. I'm just right on the fucking hood of a car. <laughs> well, lay all these out, pan across them. Mmm, sexiness. So I'm going to probably read those on my trips to work and shit and uh, enjoy them. Uh, the t-shirts are here. Got the hollow bleach, which I already seen, and the Dragon Ball Z, which I already seen. I'm just fucking throwing them out all over the place. There's some wind in the background. We'll see how this video comes out. And it panned over there. Went, mm. And that's essentially... My fucking Comic Con swag. I mean, not Comic Con, but damn. Eh, Dragon Con. Hopefully, this car don't fuck my shirts up. But anyway, that's all my stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little segment, video, or whatever. Pretty much showcasing my swag and my lumpy afro. I just picked it out. Like, I need a haircut. I just picked it out. It isn't as even as it should be, but whatever. Uh, gotta look over here for the camera. Over there. Over there. Mm. But anyway. So basically, that's the things that I bought. The, the shirts were pretty expensive. The comic books were not that expensive. They were alright, but uh, that's everything from Dragon Con the uh, second day, pretty much. I bought them. And then, uh, yeah, I bought them. I bought them as soon as I went in the second day. So I had fun buying that stuff, looking at it, enjoying it. I'm wearing these shirts today, so that's going to be fun going back for my last day of Dragon Con. 
And then uh